Hi, good evening, everybody. Welcome to my channel or my page. This is my Kelalikas from Pay Fixation. Um, I'm still trying to get used to my um, webcam, and so I'm backwards. Everything's backwards, so I'm I'm still trying to get used to it um, because I can see down there where I am, but I'm really up here. And let me see if I can pull up the thing on my um, phone so that I can see comments because I cannot see comments. Okay, and there it is. All right. Let me see if I can make this bigger. I think if I make it bigger, I won't be able to see comments. Okay. So if you are on, please let me know that you're here and where you are from. I always like to know um, who's watching. And um, tonight I wanted to tell you uh, some exciting news um, coming up for myself. And then we're going to go over this new dresser that I just picked up. And I'm going to show you basically what I do when I get something new to try and decide what I'm going to do with it. If I'm going to keep it, repair it, how I'm going to paint it, and all that good stuff. So um, without further ado, let me see here. Um, Oops. Hang on. That's me talking, trying to see comments. I can't see comments. Kristen's here. Hey, Kristen. Live on my page. Good. Okay, because I wasn't sure how to do that. Um, earlier, the other day when I did one, I was live the whole time, and apparently I was live on my personal page. And that doesn't work out that good. Love the hearts. Thank you. Okay, so some exciting news is I am just about done with the color guide that I have been writing. Um, if you don't follow me or you haven't followed me, um, what I've been doing is taking the color wheel and using color theory to write a guide using the Dixie Bell colors so that you can pick a main color or a group of colors and use the guide to make sure that those colors are going to work well together, that they, um, what they call, are in harmony. Um, some people just don't know color. They, they paint beautifully, but they, they just aren't comfortable picking out colors. They're not sure what colors go together. Um, other people do custom work, and they'll have a client that wants one color, but the room that's going in would be a decorating disaster if they put this particular colored furniture in it. So this guide is basically meant to help you, it, not only in your own painting, but if you paint for other people so that you can help them um, make good decisions on the color. You know, you might love a certain color, and that's great, but you might have to read, you know, decide maybe it shouldn't go in this room. If you want it to be that color, it maybe needs to go into another room. Or if you um, really like the color, but then you just decide it's just not going to work. This guide is meant to help you make those decisions. Um, I used two different color wheels. Um, these two here, okay, and I can't see anything without my glasses making sure that you can see it. So I use these two color wheels and then my daughter and I, who is an artist, worked together to go through all the Dixie Belle colors and we chose several colors um, from the paint line that will work in harmony with the main color. So all 64 colors, we didn't do the five that are um, only in the 16 ounce, we did just the 64 colors, but um, I can add those if um, people want to see those. Um, but there, so we took all the colors and we chose a group of colors. Some of them have more, some of them have less, um, and a couple of neutrals that will also work with those colors, whether they be cool colors or warm colors. So basically what we've done or what I've done is taking the work out of it for you. So you could get your own color wheel, you could go through the color wheel and you could find the colors that go well together. But um, you may not have all the colors at home. You may not have all the colors that you want to choose from. This way you can look at the color guide, choose your colors, and then go ahead and get them. You wouldn't have to buy colors and see, oh, they don't go together. I shouldn't have done that and you have to buy more. This helps you in many different ways. Um, 
So I'm almost completed with it. It's, it's getting tidied up. I have a graphic artist working on it. Um, thank you so much, Marion. Um, she is working on it to kind of polish it up a little bit for me. And I am also painting, um, I've got these hearts from Sinopoly and I am painting this heart many, many times to add it to the chart to give you an idea of what the colors are going to look like together. So I don't just have it written out. I'm showing you how they look. I can't you know, paint a dozen pieces of furniture for you um, to have in there, but I can do this. And I think that this is going to give it a really good um, visual. And I'm also going to do a few of these with combinations that don't work well together to give you an idea of what I mean by um, colors that are not in harmony. Okay, so be on the lookout for that. If it's something that you're interested in, um, you can go on my website, which is paintfixation.com. I will put it in the link after the video. Uh, I put it in the description at the top and I'll put it in the comments at the bottom. Um, go on there and you can subscribe to my page and you will get the notice first when it becomes available and it will be available through my website. Um, also, if you are not following me on Facebook on this page, even though you're watching the video, you may not be following me. Um, please go to my page and click on notifications and start following me. That way you won't miss any of the videos and you won't miss um, when the paint guide becomes available. Um, I am going to be doing a couple of tutorials and I am going to do a pre-recorded video to help explain how to use the guide when it comes out. I'm hoping by the end of next week it will be ready to put it on the website. So Kristen says cool, she has trouble with color combinations. Look at all those hearts, girl. Thank you so much. Okay, so this is just a quick live that I'm doing tonight. Today's been a crazy day. I'm in Florida, and our governor just shut down the state. Um, they want us to stay at home to stay safe and everything. And I had some customers panic about not being able to get paint. So I've been delivering paint today and ordering paint today. So um, I was hoping to be a little bit more prepared for this but we're just going to wing it. So I got this um, piece that you see here. Um, I can't tell. Let me change my computer around so I can see this better. I can't tell if you can. Um, so it's just so weird. Everything's backwards. Okay. So I got this piece from a local um, woman who is a paint flipper and she um, recently had a family member become very ill and so she cannot paint right now. She's helping with the family, not from COVID. Um, she has cancer. So it's a very sad situation. And so she um, saw me, saw my lives and so she contacted me to see if I wanted to get a couple of her pieces. And so I got this piece and I just got it. And so basically you're going to help me or I'm going to show you what I do when I get a piece, how I figure out what I'm going to do to it. Um, the first thing about this piece that I noticed when I got it is that it has a lot of damage down here on the foot. And I'm going to pick you up and move you. Hopefully I don't get you dizzy. But if you look there, it looks like a dog had lunch on the foot there. Let me turn it this way and get this back. I love the webcam because it's nice and wide, but it's kind of uh, finicky. Um, so you see that that is a lot of damage to that. And this is what it looks like originally. Let me bring you down here. Whoop. See, everything's backwards. Let's see. Okay, it's over here. So we have this. This is isn't it pretty. So that's the ornate details of that piece over here. Let me bring you in here slowly. Okay. Now there's a couple of things that I might be able to do with that. Um, oops, you don't want to see my nasty closet. Okay, let me bring you over here. I'm sorry, guys. Okay, so a couple things that can um, be done is um, I can make a mold. Um, the way I do it, and there's not just one way to do it, there's lots of ways that can, it can be done, 
is I use um, Bondo and um, just one second, guys. Hang on, I'm just going to exit out of here so I can see what's going on. So I use Bondo and hot glue to do my molds. Um, on my website, I have a tutorial on how to do that. It's just the way I like to do it. It's the way I'm comfortable doing it. I know a lot of people use Play-Doh to make the molds. The one problem with this repair is I feel like um, if I used Play-Doh, it would be, there's just so much damage and there's so much detail that I'm afraid that I wouldn't get a good mold on it. So what I'll do, and I'm thinking I may do this tomorrow night on um, live, which is tricky because it may or may not work out. So you guys might be with me when it doesn't work out. But I'll turn this on its back. And the first thing I think I might do is see if I can get these legs off. If these legs screw off, that would be ideal. So I'll check and see if they can be screwed off. If they can be screwed off, then I will make the molds. That would make it a, a really um, good live because I could do it right in front of you. Um, I think they might come off but these older pieces you just never know so um what i'll do is I'll, I'll use the hot glue to make a mold and then i will use bondo to make the um piece that will attach to the to the leg now i'm thinking on this piece i'm going to have to do two separate pieces one in the front and one in the back because the damage goes about three quarters of the way around so i don't think i'm going to get away with just doing one mold It'd be nice if i did but I don't think that I, that I will. Um, Kristen asks, what is one of your favorite color combos? I love Hurricane Gray and T-Rose. And I love Vintage Duck Egg with Grunge Wax. What about you, Kristen? Hey, Wendy. Wendy's here. Okay. So, We've determined that the leg is going to need some fixing. Okay, so that's one thing I'm going to need to do. The other thing that I'm going to do, and this piece is going to be painted because it has a lot of work that has to be done on it. I am not going to be able to um, not paint it. So this piece up here, okay, it's very pretty, but um, it's going to have to be painted over or removed. So the first thing I will do is I will try to remove it, probably with a paint spot. Um, uh, spatula or spatula thing, you know, a thingy like one of these things. Someone help me out here. What's the what's the real name for this thing? <laughs> the thingy. Okay. So I'll probably try and take take it off with this, and I'm not gonna do it here because I don't want it to fall off the table. Um, the other thing I can do is I do have some would you bend um, molds that I purchased. Um, I, got, I think I have a medallion. It may be too big for this, but that is another option. Another option could be to do leave it and do a stencil over the top of it. Now I've done that before. Um, so these are all things that you can consider when you have a piece that you're working on and you want to, um, you know, do something to it. You know, if you can keep it, keep it. Like if this, if this could be kept, I just it doesn't have any raised areas on it, so it's it's going to get painted over or it's going to get removed. So that's the second thing I'm, I had to deal with. The other thing is these hand these um, handles. They are so pretty. Now I'm going to um, bring you up to it. Um, let's see. Okay, look at this. It almost looks like emerald. I'm not sure. The, this part of it, this needs to be cleaned up. So I'll be taking these off and cleaning, cleaning them up. But this is such a pretty green. And a lot of times I will replace the hardware, but I am not replacing this hardware. I really like it. Oops, again with the closet. Wendy, uh, Kristen says, let me put my glasses on. She's painting a piece in the Navy muscadine wine, stormy seas, sawmill gravy, and tea rose. The golf with kudzu and some fluff. Woo! That's going to be an interesting piece. I can't wait to see it. I was actually thinking that in the navy would go really well with this green color. What do y'all think? This green almost looks like kudzu um, in the color. 
and it has these little knobs up here that also have the green in them. It's, it's just really pretty, and I actually can't wait to clean them up and see what they look like when I clean them up. I think it's going to be really pretty. So, um, I keep turning that the wrong way. Okay. Okay. So, we'll clean the take all the hardware off and clean it. Sometimes I will leave the hardware on and I will paint over it. That is a personal preference. It depends on what the hardware looks like. But for this particular piece, I'm going to take them all off, clean them up, and let that green be a focal point. And then I'm, I think I'm going to do in the navy on this piece. I think that it would be really pretty. I did a desk not too long ago with in the navy, and I used Colonel Mustard, which is, um, I'll show you. Well, it sound, it's just like it sounds. It's this color right here. The, it looks a lot brighter in that camera. It's not bright at all. I can't get it to really show the right color. It's it's a really deep yellow. It actually looks just like mustard, um, actually. So I did this in the navy piece with the kernel mustard, and it kind of made it an olive color as they came together on the stencil that I used. I think that would be a pretty combination um, and it actually might enhance these uh, this hardware so let me think we have we have colored green so that's a little bit darker palmetto maybe I'm gonna play with some of the greens to just kind of bring out this green color here but I'm, I'm definitely thinking in the Navy I'm doing a live video on the Dixie Bell page on the 16th of this month. And the topic is one color paint. So I may just color, paint the, the navy color that day. Um, I don't usually do one color, but we have had some requests for that. So it may start out one color and then later I might add some stencil, uh, raised stencils with a little bit of the mustard to make some of the green. But even then, even if I didn't add any of the mustard to make the green, I think in the navy, it will be gorgeous with this. And if these knobs or handles don't, you know, clean up to uh, gold or they kind of look like they would be gold. Yes, Dennis, it does. And I'm excited about it. Wendy says that maybe some metallic green. We do have a green metallic deep woods, which would be gorgeous with this also. So maybe I'll do a little bit of that on the handles. Maybe we'll add some to the handles or put some gold gilding wax or something on there because I still have some of that. So the other issue that I have with this, let me get over here, is the veneer. Can you see here? I'm going to bring you up a little bit. See if I can do this without making you dizzy. Oops. This is really pain in the room. Okay. See this? This is coming off. Now, you, there are times when this can be fixed. Okay. But every drawer, just about, and the top veneer has issues. Okay, so that's another reason why it has to be painted because I'm not buying veneer and adding veneer. My sister-in-law is here. Hey, Kelly. Okay, so I am not going to um, replace this veneer. I am going to take off as much as I can until it stops coming off. As you can see, it's, it's just very dry. I'm not so certain this piece wasn't um, had water damage, but I really think it's just old and, and dried out. So I'm going to take off as much of that veneer with this right here. And then I will use the Dixie Bell mud to repair it. And when I'm done, it'll be a smooth finish. I may also do that live because this is going to be a project piece for the next week or so leading up to my live on Dixie Bell. So, um, so that's how I will repair that. So we've gone through the foot needs to be repaired or the leg, it's not really a foot. Um, just check back here tomorrow. Tomorrow's what day? Tomorrow's Thursday. So tomorrow um, I have a coaching group at eight. So 
maybe 6.30. So start looking around 6.37. Um, I'll come on and I'm going to try and repair this live, okay? I'll try and get the leg off. That would be ideal. If not, we'll lay on its back and we'll do, do what we can. Um, okay, so tomorrow night we'll try and fix the leg. And then we're going to take, I have to take off this veneer and repair it. In the meantime, I'm going to take off the handles and get those cleaned up. For the handles, I will probably um, start with um, mineral spirits to start with maybe a wire brush. I have the surf prep sanding pads, the rad pads, these right here. We sell these now in Dixie Bell. These are awesome. If you don't have these, if you do some minor sanding and you don't need the actual surf prep, like I have, I love it. But if you just want um, a pack of these, they come in, I can't remember, we just started selling them, so I don't know exactly how many. Kristen, if you remember how many, if you're still here, um, can you let me know how many are in the pack? Um, <laughs> so um, these are new with Dixie Bell. They're very flexible. Okay, they come in different grits, and it has it on the back which grit it is. Okay, and these work. These work great when you're just doing a quick. Um, you don't need to do a major sanding project, and you don't need a sander. These are awesome. And I was watching a video earlier today where somebody was using these to clean their hardware. So I might. When we do our live tomorrow, maybe I'll just try and do that and see how that works because um, I'm thinking that if that works, that we can actually look at that. Can y'all see that? Let me pull this up closer. Okay, so I'm just barely hitting this. Do you see how this is already turning gold? Oh my goodness, look at that. So there's four grits and two of each grit. So there's eight. Look at that. So this might be easier than I thought. Holy moly. All right. See how awesome they are? So I, I, I already have these because I have a surf prep sander. So if you do heavy sanding and you really need a sander and you can um, swing it, the surf prep is the way to go. I love it. And I have three different sanders. It's by far my favorite. But my second favorite thing are these, okay? And these are great for so many things. And I've even, I'm so frugal that I have even washed these, like washed them after using them and they still work. So, I mean, it might start out 180 grit, but when I'm done with it, it might be a 220 or a 320, but it still works. They're awesome. So if you want some of those, I have them on my website, paintfixation.com. You can order them and they can be drop shipped to your home. Because even though Dixie Bell um, or Florida has been given a safe at home order, um, Dixie Bell is still up and running. So even though you can't go to my shop to get the paint, I can send you the paint to your home. So um, if you have projects that you've been wanting to work on and you need paint or any other products, um, get on there and, and get it. And they are such quick on ordering. I know Kristen, isn't that awesome? This is the first time I've used, Kristen's telling me how awesome this is. This is the first time I've tried that on hardware and I'm thinking that is gonna be a pretty easy fix. I would much rather do that than have to soak these bad boys, okay? The other thing that I'm, if I, I'm going to use in the Navy, and I will say this, if you have a piece of furniture that bleeds, and by that I mean the tannins in the wood come out, after you've added a water-based top coat to it or even water-based paint. Um, even on the dark colors, I have done dark colors before and if thinking I could get away with not having to put a tannin blocker on there. And I've had issues with the paint having different, I don't know what the word would be, like discolorations, like if it was in the navy and then every now and then it looks a little darker in some places than others. So this piece, just looking at it and how dry it is and it doesn't have, there is like no finish on here. It's it's just very dry. Um, 
I'm thinking this is going to be a very heavy bleeder. So I'm going to put at least one coat of clear boss on here and I'm going to use the clear. I like the white better because to me it just works better. But the clear is is good usually in two coats, but I think for this one coat will will do it. Um, and I want to use clear because I'm using it in the navy and I don't want to have to go over white with it. It will take too many coats of paint. But I'm, I'm thinking I'm going to do at least one coat of boss on this just in case because even though it's a very dark color, um, there is a chance that it could discolor if there's a lot of heavy bleed through. If you're not going to have heavy bleed through, you can use a dark color and pretty much get away with it. But this, I'm thinking this is going to be a project. This one is for sure. But um, so I'm, what time is it? It's 8.30. Does anybody have any questions? Let me look at this and see. I don't think that anyone has asked any questions. Hang on. Okay. All right. So, and I also haven't been able to see a lot of the comments because of um, using this webcam thing. <laughs> so, when you're watching on the replay, and if you have a question, please ask it because I always go back after my videos and I answer all the comments and questions that people leave me. I mean, if it's later on down the road and you leave it and I don't get a notification, I might not get it. But for the next few days, I go back, I answer all the questions. If it's something that you really want an answer to and you want to make sure I see it, private message me or just tag me in the, in the comment and then I can... Um, I'll get a notification that you've asked. Also, if you have enjoyed this video, I ask that you please S-H-A-R-E it. Okay, Facebook loves for us to do that. They just don't like us to say that. So um, that would be great if you did that. That helps me out a lot. I'm a small business, and right now we can the shop that I'm in where I sell my paint is closed as of tomorrow. So if you've enjoyed this or you got something out of it, please let your friends and family know. And if you're not already following me, please follow me. That way you won't miss out on any of the lives or any content that I post. Also, if you are interested in the paint guide that I've written um, that will be available by next week at the latest, maybe this weekend, I'm working hard getting it done, um, go to my website, paintfixation.com, and subscribe because the people that are on my website that subscribe will get the first notification. They're going to be the first ones to know about it. Um, and if you are in any of these states that are having a really hard time with this virus, just know that my prayers are with you. Um, we're all in this together. All the small businesses are suffering. But I truly, truly believe that there is going to be good that comes out of all of this mess. You have to believe that. Um, I just do. I think it's going to, I think in the end, it's going to all turn out to be okay. And I think it's not going to be as long as we think it's going to be. I think, I think positive thoughts. Okay. No fear. Fear causes stress and stress causes sickness. So don't be fearful. Don't be stressed out. Do what you can at home. Make the most of it. Play with the kids. Also, if you, um, I have ordered some kits to send out for children, but they have not come in yet. I have these really cute wood cutouts I was going to put together with some paint and some brushes, but because of everything that's going on, shipping has been very much delayed. So as soon as those come in, I will post that on the Facebook page to let everybody know, and I'll also have it on my website as well. So everybody have a really good night. Thank you so much for tuning in. I look forward to seeing everybody tomorrow evening. I'm thinking 6.30ish, somewhere around in there. And um, good night to everybody. Good night. Love you.